Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning and uh, good evening to all of those watching around the world. My name is Justin Pauly. I'm the president of VX Technologies. And I want to thank you all for being here today. We are going to talk a little bit about uh, degrees and how important those are, but it is a larger topic of conversation of verifiable data, digital sovereignty, and how these can be applied at a foundational level with an incredible product that we're launching here today for our global launch, try that again, the official public launch at London Blockchain Conference of our flagship product called AlphaDAP. Now, at the very core of what it does, it's a very foundational product that allows anyone with a data set, a CSV, anything like that, to be able to put data on chain, distribute that data, and then have peer-to-peer -peer verification. Now, this is not groundbreaking in itself, but with most things in life, I'd like to give you a little bit of context. A couple hundred years ago, they invented the tin can. Now, this is a pretty revolutionary thing. Uh, you could get through the winter without, uh, without starving. These things were very, very important. But it wasn't for about many, many decades later that someone actually invented the can opener to make opening the can not dangerous, to make it easy, to make it quick. And so what we've done at AlphaDAP is put together a program that takes your data sets, that takes your information, and can distribute these things easily and, efficient, and efficiently, similar to a can opener. But before we do that, I want to talk to what they just spoke about was the adoption rate. So have we failed blockchain? Obviously, I think not. We're all here for the reason because we believe in blockchain, and we understand that it is the future. But in terms of mass adoption, there are very few things that have gone to 100 million users uh, on blockchain. That's obviously uh, not DeFi in included. So for us, the, the data is the important part about why we love blockchain. Because it is immutable, you can have it, and once you own it, something that has happened to you, something that you have earned, can be yours and be part of your digital sovereignty. Now, going from mass adoption, or going to mass adoption, excuse me, is really the tricky part. And I think a lot of what we've done over the last few years as a community is we've gone very, very far into the future. And sometimes it's hard to have that foundational first step, a footbridge, if you will, before we have the longer, expansive bridge. And so at AlphaDAP, what we've done is created this very simple, foundational tool to help bridge that gap. So we're in the rooms a lot of times over, over many years of, of working in blockchain. We get the eyes glazed over, we've heard about it, we've heard the bad stories. Most of them DeFi related, I won't get into that. But also, how does this change our operational structure as a company? How are these records really going to impact the lives of the people that we're going to distribute to them? How do they benefit from this? And a lot of the times we get the same answers, Web3 is complicated. And it is. You have to have a wallet, make sure you keep your seed phrase, fund that wallet to be able to utilize it in any meaningful way. So we thought, let's just get off that. And that we, so we, can, we can stop all that hyper complexity for onboarding millions of people. And how we do that is that we build that bridge. So blockchain solves business problems. We all know this. It solves education problems. It solves e-government problems. However, they're rarely implemented at a scale that is really changing uh, a, a company, a nation. And there's a lot of promises out there for large-scale things, and a lot of them have fallen short. And so again, we have to sort of fight that uphill battle of, of some negative press and some positive things that just haven't exploded uh, into the scale that we want to see them at. So although they persist, through AlphaDAP, we're going to, we are going to be able to overcome uh, that, those first initial steps. So the bridge on AlphaDAP is, is, is quite spectacular in its simplicity. Again, it's just data on chain that can be verified later. This is not a new journey, but the way we do it is very new, combining the best of Web 2 with the best of Web 3. Every company, from a street vendor to the fish and chips, uh, to large corporations, essentially all operate on some ledger at some point. 
whether that's through an audit trail, sustainability goals, there is a ledger of something somewhere. And a lot of these uh, governments and corporations, the leadership has been making interesting decisions, perhaps based on non-verified data. So when we put data on chain through AlphaDAP, we're allowing the, the corporation to start that audit trail right there. I, someone signed for this, they were an authorized signer. It is amazing how when you, you have to put your name and you have to sign it and it cannot be altered later, how clear and crisp your data becomes. So every spreadsheet, every CSV, uh, every ledger, uh, auto auditing, access controls, land records, a lot with education. Education is a tremendously easy and powerful one to, to go through. So let me take a second and do that. So if I have work to go to school, whether I complete that course or that final degree, but I've taken my course, I have learned that information. You can't take that away from me. That is my sovereign thing that I earned, and I think I should have a record of it. Well, we agree with you. We feel that everything that happens on your, in your life should have some sort of digital sovereignty attached to it. Now, that is our, our end goal. But in the meantime, how do we get universities to do this? To, uh, to maybe not change around their current uh, modus operandi. And we do that through not really worrying about it. Because whatever data set that they're going to be using is the data set that designs the application for them. So here's our, what our application looks like. It's very easy. It's drag and drop. But most importantly, it allows the uh, application owner, the company, the government, um, whatever entity is going to be using AlphaDAP at an at enterprise level, you can take your current data structure and let the data design the application. So AlphaDAP in itself is an application whose only function is to build other distributed applications. And through this simple process, where you'll be able to verify your records, make pretty looking credentials. So we ran into some problems early in education uh, by saying, here's your, uh, here's your diploma. It doesn't look like a diploma. OK, we can fix that. Let's get some HTML5, get some code in there to make it look nice. And then it becomes more akin to what we're used to. So again, making that bridge from what we are sort of in our heads think is going to happen to what will be happening on blockchain. And then obviously, we have the peer-to-peer -peer verification. So as a, as a sovereign of, of my uh, digital information, I can willingly share it with you. I can share it with you to apply for a job. You can share it with me that, hey, we went to the same school. Let's go grab a beer, whatever that may be. And so it brings trust. And when we start bringing trust in education, into e-government, into agriculture, into mining, into sustainability, these things are critically important. And these items of verification are obviously available globally. So the journey of an AlphaDAP customer is quite simple. You have your data. We work with you. It doesn't take long. And I will say this. We have been in this business for a while, for a number of years. And nothing I've ever seen comes close to the look on a client's face when we not only demo our product, but we build a functioning application and write things to code in a 30-minute sales meeting. And that's where the can opener analogy really comes to play. Because before it was six, eight months of development work, we'll have something brought to you. Nonsense. We can do that in, in 18 minutes. If you have a data set ready, we can make you an application with you. We can understand what the controls mean, what this toggle means for compliance, uh, for your uh, terms of service, all those things easily uh, hashed out inside of, of an AlphaDAP uh, application. And then we have the secure distribution. And this, we can go through email. So setting up the wallets, all of, all of, all of that stuff happens behind the scenes. So your end user logs in with a, uh, a, a, a user name, email address and a password. Now, of course, there's the, the seed chain is stored. All the normal web things happen, but it's behind the scenes. So again, that bridge is not a, a, a bridge too far. It is a bridge that you can see the end of when you start that journey. So for the end users, this feels like the most natural, intuitive thing. Some of them don't even know it's really blockchain, although they'll, they'll hear about it. But making that first initial bridge is foundational to how AlphaDAP customers are relating uh, to their end users. And once it's there in my wallet or in the end user's wallet, then it's mine. 
right? I am the owner of that, and I am I'm digitally sovereign. Uh, that record can't be taken away from me. I earned my degree, I took that course. Um, I was the captain of my Frisbee golf team, whatever it may be, that can be verified by the institution. And remember, of course, all of this, you know, only the correct people at the institution have the ability to author these records. And now it's verifiable. So that what that means is that any, anywhere in the world I can apply for a job, they can see that the record is valid. If the record has been tampered with in any way, it will show up invalid. All of the normal Web3 things. But it's, it's so easy for, for them to verify instantly my credentials. Can I actually operate, operate a forklift? Maybe if I can, I shouldn't be working in this warehouse. That seems quite dangerous. And so this whole journey is so fast and so easy for the end user to attain digital sovereignty through essentially the best of Web2 and allow the authoring institution to have an incredibly clean audit trail. So AlphaDAP really delivers in terms of education, auditing, uh, the shareability is so easy on a QR code. Um, E-government benefits from having quality verifiable data. And of course, the validation part for all of these things. So whether the, these are coming from IoT devices, whether these are coming from uh, institutions that are, are doing uh, credentials or, or work permits, whatever the, the, the case may be. So it is very dynamic because we didn't build a program where you have to figure out how to use it. The program evolves around what you are already using. And that is the, that is the, the clearest part of what we can do. And some of the benefits of having a solution where it, is, it lowers that barrier of entry, it lowers that six to eight months to 18 months of development work to get verifiable data on chain. It allows uh, to have quality data given to leadership to make better decisions. It allows quality data to influence AI, because bad data into AI equals bad data coming out of AI. And so it really is the a foundational aspect of what we see the, the, the future being. Uh, not only in terms of what blockchain is, but what applications can be built on top of AlphaDAP structure. In addition to that, as I said, the pendulum of AI needs to be uh, counterbalanced with the pendulum of verifiable, true, and correct data. So we have critical data sets all over the world. It's a good thing, because we also have an incredible sales staff. And as the, the last panelist said, uh, most of our sales staff is, of course, in Africa. We're a US-based company, but we are, have committed uh, to the African continent. We have committed to Europe. We have committed to, well, not Antarctica, I think was the last one, but, uh, but absolutely in, in, in South America and North America, as well as all of Asia. And we're very committed to doing these verifiable records the correct way the correct way that's easily adoptable and allows us to bridge that, uh, or to cross that bridge quite easily. So please visit alphadap.com. Uh, we, we verify for your X. And I think the most important takeaway here is that getting verifiable data is not new. Getting it easy, done, we can do it in a day, is transformative in a way that the can opener did to the can. So with that, I will turn it over to our host. Thank you so much for your time, and look forward to seeing you.